Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about changing your mindset about wealth. In Job 22:25, it says, Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. There's this mindset that many people have, and we've been taught from early on, that if you have an abundance, if you have too much, then you are inherently doing something wrong, even sinning against God. Because the mindset is that there's a lack. And so you having an abundance means you're taking from someone else, you're stealing from someone else. And nothing could be further from the truth. Other people have lack because of their own particular mindset, their own particular work ethic, and a variety of other circumstances that have nothing to do with you and your abundance. And so my encouragement to you today is that you take the mindset that the Almighty is your defense and you shall have plenty of silver, plenty of money, plenty of whatever you need. God is the provider. It's not about you. It's not about you having a bunch of things either. That's not the mindset to have, but that you can have plenty. You can have an abundance. You're not going without. You're not lacking. You're not suffering hunger. If there's a need, you can provide for someone else and be in a position to give, which of course causes you to reap even more because when you give, it shall be given unto you. But God is your defense and you shall have plenty of silver. You shall have plenty and abundance. There shouldn't be lack in your life when God is a supplier, God is your source. Does God lack anything? Well, then why would you? It is as simple as asking him and believing in faith that you have received when you asked, you received and when you believed and you will have it. That's one of the messages that Jesus taught. You're not making God your defense when you're believing lack. You're not making God your defense when you're believing that you should be suffering to learn some lesson. What lesson are you learning? Why can't you learn that lesson without suffering? If you're that stubborn that you have to suffer to learn something, and yes, we do suffer things and that happens, but there are many people going through needless suffering, things that could have easily been avoided. These are not things that are occurring that there's no way around this obstacle. These are things that people cause themselves. And one of the most fundamental ones is the belief that you do not deserve to have an abundance. It doesn't have to be about you being some great person, you work hard and all these things. That could be true. But it needs to be about God as a source. He's your defense. He's your supplier. And there's no lack in him. So why would you lack? Don't let that doubt and unbelief creep in. Understand today you deserve it as a child of God. You deserve the blessing of God because God is your defense. And because he is the source and you'll do right with that abundance. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.